Hey everybody, NavyDoc5184 here and welcome to my reaction to part 4 of Star Wars Ahsoka. Really looking forward to this episode. So far this series has really been awesome. I've enjoyed every episode so far. Uh, episode 3 was definitely a roller coaster. Man, that went so much and I mean, like all the commentary that was in there. I mean, honestly, that episode alone almost really kind of solidifies how really easy it could have been for the First Order to really come into play because you could see the Senators, especially that one where uh, he was just so dead against Hera uh, going to help uh, in terms of trying to, um, you know, seek out Thrawn, how they're just so focused on, you know, let's just get this Republic built up, not realizing the threat that really right in front of their faces. I mean, Mon Matha definitely seemed to really see that something really could be brewing, but again, you know, when politicians who really don't have their fingers on the pulse really uh, have all the say in it, you know, that's where things really go downhill, and I feel like that is probably one of the really big things that really helped the First Order come into play, so I'm very anxious to see what Ahsoka and Sabine are gonna do, knowing that basically um, they're being hunted while they need to repair their ship, um, I would imagine that um, there's probably going to be another big battle going on. I'm very curious to see what uh, role Hera plays because, you know, her loyalty to her friends, you know she's not just going to sit back and just leave them to their own devices. She's going to find some way to help them, probably without Senate approval, but, you know, who knows where it's going to go. I mean... And it just feels like there's so much answers. Like, I think of, like, Balin Scroll, and he just seems to have, I don't want to say a hesitancy to destroy Ahsoka or anything like that, but there's just something just, I don't know, just something just feels off with him. Like, he's not fully invested in helping uh, Morgan Elsbeth, you know, for the sake of helping her. You know, I feel like that he has some sort of end game, and I'm very curious to see what that is. So, um, we shall see what part four has um, in store. I did take a look and I saw that there's going to be eight episodes in here. So, this is actually the midpoint here. So, um, in all honesty, I have a really bad feeling because with it being the midpoint, I have a feeling something not so good is going to happen. Uh, I really hope I'm wrong, but we shall see. Um, we're just going to go ahead and get into the episode. Uh, for those of you who are members, uh, just feel free. You can uh, join me on my watch along. Just use the timer to um, <clears throat> get to the same point of the show I'm at and have it on a separate window. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can enjoy watching it together. But let's go ahead and get started. Come in, home one. Do you read us? Oh, there's not a chance. Copy. You're either way too far or all that stuff they're doing is jamming your long-term communication. There's no way you're reaching anybody outside that system. Where's Ahsoka? Outside. I fear we face a difficult choice. Which is? Yeah, I was thinking that exactly. If we can't make the journey to find Ezra, then no one should. He'd be stranded out there. Maybe this time for good. Better that than allowing Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. She's got a point there, Sabine. She's got a point. Don't let your emotions cloud your judgment. Because Ahsoka understands more than anybody what emotional or emotional attachment can do in terms of one's decision making she wants to make sure that Sabine does what is right uh oh they've located the Jedi starship how far out are they? about a dozen clicks tell them to move in we best get underway soon is that a note of fear in your voice? experience <laughs> Again, a lot said by saying very little. Sometimes we have to 
do what's right, regardless of our personal feelings. That's do you true. Believe that? I have to. That's the whole thing. You got to think about the long game here. If anybody should understand the threat the throne is, it should be Sabine. Whoa! Get it, Hu Yang! That should be a sign, you two. Droid made it worse. He wouldn't. Oh, yeah, Ahsoka knows something's up. Oh man, thank goodness for that best car. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Episode just started and we got this. Man, I can't believe I got jump scared by that freaking droid. I need you to contact General Sindula as soon as you can. Of course. May I make one request of you both? Stay together. You always did better that way. In my opinion. We better get moving. Together. Anybody else get like a Obi-Wan Anakin callback on that one with episode three? When they're going against Dooku? I'm not just going to sit around and do nothing, Lieutenant. But, but you can't leave without authorization. Watch me. I know it. Meeting of the general staff. What do I tell them? You'll think of something. <laughs> I appreciate the fact that he didn't try that hard to stop her. But we knew there was no way that she would just sit back and do nothing. You know, you're risking an awful lot by doing this. Yo! You know how it is. <laughs> Once a rebel, always a rebel. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, there's no way Hera's just going to sit back and do nothing. Her loyalty is too strong. And again, she is one of the people that know darn well the threat that Thrawn is. Have faith. Faith. I lost that a long time ago. Spoken like a true fallen Jedi. I'm not gonna lie, it is such a shame he passed because he is killing this role. He's definitely playing the role of somebody that's been through some stuff and has experienced some stuff. And you can see and even like feel the weight that it has on him. I mean, he is playing this so well. It is such a shame he passed, but I imagine this is going to be a great tribute to his skill. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. Uh, that is the opposite of staying together. So we're getting two rematches this episode. Come on, bust out. Just bust out the saber. You know you're not going to hit any of those shots. Woo! Nice! All right. Oh boy. There's a lot, a lot, a lot going on here. Oh man. I'm not gonna lie. It's so weird seeing Ahsoka battle with one saber, even though we've seen it before when she uh, was fighting uh, Morgan and Mandalorian. Whoa! Was not expecting that. What the? Okay, some explanation is needed. What was that all about? She seems really shook about that. You will regret this decision. A lot of anger in this one. All right, well, I was not expecting the homeboy to go down. I don't want to say that easily, but... Protect the map and 
until I send for you. So this must be where we get up uh, Ahsoka versus Balin. Everyone in the order knew Anakin Skywalker. Few would live to see what he became. And you find starting another war necessary? I'm not starting a war, but Thrawn will. One must destroy in order to create. How many times in various anything has that line ever been used? There it is. I'd say it's a very interesting saber design he has. And it's actually kind of funny if you look at the way he holds it. And even looking at like his armor, how it looks knightish, it's almost as if his saber is like a claymore. I mean, even look at the size of the blade even. Like it looks and maybe it's just the angle I'm looking at. It looks a little bigger than most sabers. So it's almost as if he's wielding a claymore here, you know? Woo! Ooh, that was close. Hey, you almost got yourself a nice shave right there, homie. Ooh. Oh, oh. Um, okay, I was about to say, I got some serious Dooku Obi-Wan vibes. That twist there. Oh my goodness. You can't like force grab or something like that. Oh man. Why do I ha why did that shot give me a really bad feeling? Almost. I mean... <laughs> nice. Your legacy, like your masters, is one of death and destruction. Uh oh. Uh oh. You pushed the Anakin button. You shouldn't have did that. Nice. Ouch. Ah! I'm honestly surprised she didn't try to go for a sneak kill. Alright, nice work, Sabine, though. Nice work. Get them back! Sabine. She's okay! Oh. Ahsoka, she's okay. Oh, I don't know if you're going to be, though. Stop! Sabine. Destroy it! Sabine, you got to do it. You got to do it. Sabine. Step away from her! Sabine, you got to destroy it! Sabine? No! I mean, there's a lot of water there. Sabine, you're not going to be a match for him. I know you feel that Ezra Bridger is the only family you have left. Come on. No, come on. You and I share a common goal. No, I don't think you do. Come on. You know better, Sabine. I give you my word. No harm will come to you. Darn. Oh, come on. You will be reunited with your friend. Uh, okay, uh, really, uh, where's Ahsoka? What's going on with Ahsoka? Fulcrum, come in, over. Wait, what? Yes, yes, affirmative. This is Fulcrum. We are down. Is that Hera? Repeat, we are down. 
Can you send assistance? Over. Copy, we're already here. Oh, snap. <laughs> Reinforcements have arrived. Unfortunately, I think you are a little too late. The calculations are complete. Return at once. Understood. That's what you should have done, Sabine. I still would like to know what in the world happened to Ahsoka. I, I honestly don't know what I'm feeling right now. Because it's just... Sabine was just not emotionally ready to go on a journey like this. But I'm not going to lie. There's a part of me that's kind of like thinking that's on Ahsoka. Because the first thing that she did was bring up Ezra on, on that. And you know darn well that's going to be Sabine's primary priority and focus. Engage the hyperdrive. Yeah, you are not going to be able to stop that thing. Unfortunately, by the time the Senate realizes that, oh hey, this is actually a real threat, it's going to be too late. They're going to jump. You all might want to dive. Oh. Well, Carson made it at least. You are right to have that bad feeling. This is really bad. Lady Ren? Yeah, she's on the ring. Queen, are you there? No, she's not. Lady Tano? I would love to know where she is. Ahsoka. What is this? Is this something that was in Clone Wars or Rebels that I somehow missed, or is this something new? Please let me know in comments. Wait, what was that? I didn't I... Wait, wait, what? Is that... No. No. Yo! <gasps> what? Y'all, I am freaking shook right now. Any review or analysis that I may have had in mind for this episode in that last 30 seconds completely destroyed it all. I'm just going to flat out say I don't think you're going to get any meanif meaningful analysis from me on this right now that might have to wait for my uh prologue for episode five because y'all freaking anakin skywalker has entered the chat and boy oh boy did hayden look good with that they did really good like like you can clearly see he's aged but it would fit for this time period I mean, naturally, you know, force ghosts for whatever, you know, it's like, you know, do they really age? But Anakin Skywalker has joined the chat. This is the first time he's seen Ahsoka since he battled her in Rebels as Vader. He's seen her again fully as a redeemed Anakin Skywalker. And I don't even want... I don't even want to try to imagine what Ahsoka is thinking right now, seeing him like this. But what the heck 
is that place and the fact that she's seeing him I'm not gonna say it has me a little worried it could just be some sort of vision I'm I really don't understand what it is she's in but can I just say again Anakin Skywalker has joined the chat and if the majority of episode 5 isn't revolved around him and Ahsoka I might riot that might be the first time I have anything to complain about I'm already kind of complaining that they well no actually you know what I'm kind of glad that's how they ended because everything went so bad and then to kind of end where it's like what in the world is up with Ahsoka and then end with that it's almost as if it ended on a high note even though it's really not a high note but seeing Anakin again I knew that Hayden was involved but I thought it was only gonna be like voiceovers you know or maybe he would like film um kind of like a what's the word I'm looking for like a flashback scene or something I wasn't expecting it to be a present time interaction with Ahsoka so I'm not gonna lie I am extremely hyped for part five and um yeah, normally by now I try I go into what I thought of the episode, some of the things I got from that episode and everything like that. But as I said, um, you know, before this epilogue started, that um, there is going to be no meaningful analysis here uh, because of that. And oh my goodness, yo, that that is huge. So I guess I'm just gonna have to go ahead and just end it with that uh, because. <laughs> Because I really got nothing. I've got nothing but Anakin on the ring right now. So I I guess we'll just end it at that. Um, extremely hyped for part five. I uh, cannot wait for that. Um, really looking forward to see uh, the interaction between uh, uh, Anakin and Ahsoka. Glad again to see Hayden back. I mean, he did so good in Kenobi. I think it's really nice to actually see him as full on Anakin Skywalker in this one. That is so cool. And... I can only imagine what it was like for him to film that, you know, with Rosario as Ahsoka. I mean, that that by its that scene by itself must have been so huge for both of them. I mean, the history that Hayden has as playing Anakin and then Ahsoka, you know, the character that she plays, you know, the history of that character with Anakin, you know. So the fact that these two are live playing that, that's got to be huge for them. Oh, man. Again, another fantastic episode. I will at least say that. Another fantastic episode that had me on my heels the whole time. I mean, I was tense right at, pretty much right at the beginning. And they never took their gas off the pedal outside for a few brief moments on there. Um, you know, I'll get into everything I felt about, you know, what Sabine did and all that. You know, come my reaction episode 5. It's just... Again, I've got Anakin too much on the brain right now to really analyze anything else. So we're going to go ahead and end it there. I uh, thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you all uh, enjoyed that reaction. That was a fantastic episode. And I will see you all for part five.